Look, I am 34 years old now. And just last year when I was 33 years old, I suffered from a massive heart attack on the, um, on the second week of March. I had to do surgery, I had to insert a stent. Now, post heart attack surgery, because of um, being able to go on an intermittent fasting schedule for longer periods of time, I can, um, I can fast for a week for 24 hours a day, which basically adds up to one meal a day. Or I can go for um, two weeks, 24 hours a day. And in between that, I do a couple of 48 hours um, fast. Um, the result has been that I feel the way I did when I was 15 years old and in school and I used to box. I was in the gym every day. I used to get up and go running every morning, go and exercise, lift some weights. And in the afternoon after school, I head in the gym, hit the punching bag, do some sparring sessions. The way my body felt then, the truth is, that is how I feel now. And um, I never thought over the past, let's say five or six years, I never thought that I would be in a position where I can actually feel like that. You know, I dreamt about four years ago, I had a dream that I was in my school days body and I was just being as agile as I used to be, climbing a tree and just moving around and I had my wings and you know the, the kind of boxing exercises I did I had big wings and big shoulders and um, strong arms as I'm getting back now um, I dreamt that I was in that body and you know the sadness I felt when I woke up and realized that I was uh, that was just a dream that was that was not reality imagine today I can say that that's not a dream anymore today I can say that I'm actually um, I feel like I did in the dream and I'm very close to reaching the point where I look like I did in the dream at 34 years old post heart attack surgery I want to encourage you to get on an intermittent fasting schedule in the first two weeks you start to lose a rapid weight you lose about let's say about five to six pounds a week um, it's it's tremendous the, the amount of weight that you lose most of it is water weight of course um, by the time you get to the third and fourth week you won't lose that many um, pounds per week or per day as you did in the first two weeks you know I guess that's called the uh, law of diminishing returns where you try something new and the benefit you get from it you reap it immediately you reap a tremendous amount of benefit but as time progress you find that the the, the the level of benefit starts to lessen and lessen and you have to in, um, input more effort and more energy to get that same effect out of it but the first week or two you lose a lot of pound most of it is water weight um, so that's a tremendous benefit of fasting so intermittent fasting is very important to living a healthy life it gives your system the ability to consume all of the food that you ate and all of the waste that's in it it gives your system time to work on that to burn it up and just um, allow something called autophagy to begin now autophagy is a process where basically your body begins to eat itself I know that sounds um, kind of gross but what it means is that you have starved you have starved your body of sugars and um, carbs for uh, an extended period of time on a consistent level you have done this so much that you begin to heal your organs you begin to heal your heart and your brain and your kidneys and your liver and um, it results in basically a younger you regardless of your age i'm not a doctor this is only meant for entertainment purposes and um, if you have any medical conditions even if you don't have any medical conditions or you have conditions that you don't know about consult your physician or your doctor before you try any of the things that I'm gonna talk about because this is just for entertainment purposes only but having consulted your physician if you have the opportunity to go on an intermittent fasting schedule 
start with a 12 hour a day fast and then see if you can graduate to 24 hour a day fast and do it for long periods of time at least a week um i promise you that you're going to reap so much benefits from it it's going to be the most rewarding thing you've ever done um ever since becoming unhealthy and if you can't do that at least skip a meal tomorrow skip one meal if you eat breakfast around 8 a.m or 9 a.m in the morning skip that and if your second meal is usually at lunch skip breakfast and get to lunch or if you usually eat your breakfast at lunch skip that and eat it at brunch or whenever you usually have your second meal um that's the least you can do and enjoy the hunger feeling you know the the thing that makes you feel hungry that that hormone that that hormone that i think it's called ghrelin um there's a lot of medical benefits to it so you might think that feeling hungry is a bad thing if you try if you try embracing the hunger feeling once and just remind yourself that this hunger feeling means that my body is probably entering or is already in a stage of autophagy where it's actually using up waste proteins and waste cells breaking them down and building them back into more useful things what that does is it combats the growth of cancer cells also having a lower level of insulin in your body it prevents the feeding and the growing of cancer cells also so that's the first thing that's keeping you from having a healthy and fulfilling life intermittent fasting you're not doing it so let's give it a try okay the second thing that you're doing that's keeping you from living a healthy life you're eating too much sugar no i don't mean um the sugar that you take in the morning and put it in your tea because a lot of you don't do that a lot of you like me only drink um tea without sugar and sweeteners but the soda you drink all of the energy drinks that you drink all of the alcohol that you drink all of the carbohydrates that you eat all of those are sugars even the so-called healthy sugars the the things that they sell and they say this is a um, non-sugar sweetener for your tea or for your drinks look for maltodextrin and dextrose look for those two things maltodextrin and dextrose it's basically a sneaky kind of sugar but it's a sugar all the same one gram of sugar in your body produces half the amount of energy that one gram of fat produces now if you have um an option between two energy sources sugar on the one hand and fats on the other hand and the sugar gives you half the energy that the fats gave you why not take your body off of the unhealthy energy source and put it onto the healthy energy source why not give that a try this is called ketosis or the ketogenic um, diet um, taking yourself off of sugar and carbs basically everything that is prepackaged take yourself take your body do your body a favor and come off of all of those things okay and replace them with um, healthier foods healthier food options um, meats leafy greens vegetables avoid provisions for the first because provisions are high in carbs avoid things like edos and carrots and um, sweet potatoes and potatoes and corn those kinds of things avoid that for the first um, they may seem healthy avoid breadfruit these kind of things are, are extremely high in carbohydrates which is easily converted into sugar in your body um, take yourself off of sugar for let's say a week or two weeks okay you take yourself off of sugar for a week or two weeks and that's gonna result 
in four to five pounds of weight water weight coming off of your body in the first two weeks so imagine right you can do either the intermittent fasting or the ketogenic diet and both of them will produce excellent results when it comes to your health in the first two weeks i guarantee it imagine if you add the two together imagine if you do a 12-hour fast and at the end of your fast when you're about to break your fast you don't consume any carbs you don't consume any sugars imagine the benefits that you're going to read then that's what i'm on right now that's why i can work all day um and i can drive the road all day and still have energy to go for a run or for a walk um afterwards without eating anything for the entire day it's just um it's basically the source of eternal strength or eternal youth and here's the here's the what what am i looking for what's the word i'm looking for here's the best part of this the mental clarity the mental focus this thing is real life in z t for those of you who speak with the american um alphabet or n z t for those of us who speak with the english alphabet from england of course uh, do you know that movie with you know the guy he's he's having a hard life he's basically a bum he can't find his rent he, he doesn't even have enough food to get by and then his friend gave him this pill he called it n z t and he took it and his brain is, has just been unlocked and he's, he's got all his potential he wrote a book in one night and all these things listen you take your body off of sugars and you put it on burning fats and you go on an intermittent fasting schedule there's no secret pill it's a secret lifestyle and it's no secret anymore because i just reveal it to you the mental clarity the mental focus your senses are heightened so greatly once you get these toxins out of your body once you give it enough time to burn all those things away and only put in the right amount of proteins and the healthy fats and the greens and the minerals that you need you're basically now unlocking your body now allowing your body to function the way its creator created it to function so that's number two third thing you're doing that's keeping you from living a healthy life you're not exercising enough for some of you you're exercising too much this one is a double-edged sword there's a saying that goes a body at rest tends to stay at rest but a body in motion tends to stay in motion that is so true when it comes to exercising you know recently ever since i had an um ever since i had a heart attack last year came across this guy talking about the amount of heart attacks that happen um there's no guarantee that if you're overweight you're going to have a higher chance of having a heart attack than if you're someone that's underweight or fit whether you're um slim or whether you are a little bit bigger it doesn't matter what matters is whether you exercise or not so you have some slim people that are at a high risk of having a heart attack and they don't know it because they think that because they're slim they're healthy and you have some um some bigger folks that um think they're at a high risk of, of having a heart attack but um they're just as at risk as the slimmer folks one of the things that tells the difference is whether you exercise or not whether you go to the gym on a regular basis now this does not mean that you have to go to the gym and um, basically work yourself into the ground for um eight to ten hours um a week there's no need to go to the gym for eight to ten hours a week and work yourself into the ground all you need to do is get your heart pumping a little bit you know get to, you see in order for your body to move from a keto um a ketogenic state to autophagy it needs to burn some of the fats and some of the proteins that's in you burn it down and then it starts looking for more now exercise is a good way to get you from that 
to, to jump from that one stage to the other no more than a 15 20 minute workout a day no more than three three days a week i grew up in a boxing gym i used to exercise about four hours a day two hours in the morning two hours in the evenings and um, sometimes a lot of times it was about three hours in the evenings if we have a competition coming up and we have to fight we would instead of doing two hours in the gym in in the afternoons into the evenings we would stay an extra hour because we have to put in extra work because we, we want to fight and we want to win so um i grew up doing four to five hours a day exercise and here i am now telling you that eight to ten hours a week is too much for some of you let me tell you why i was young boxing was my life and I had nothing else to do so many of us have families we have jobs we have demanding jobs and we live in a critical economy and there's no need for you to waste your energy trying to burn calories in a gym when tomorrow you're gonna eat unhealthy foods and drink unhealthy drinks and put it back in again that's 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 no way to live your life you can cut down the amount of hours you spend in the gym from an hour to two hours a day to maybe one hour every two or three days if you simply control the kind of foods you eat and when you eat it that's ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting if you do that you don't have to work yourself into the ground you don't have to have aches and pains and um, you do those three things you start with one of those three things consult your physician of course before you do it but you start with one of those three things and after a couple of months incorporate a second and then after a couple of months give a one or two week um try to all three together see the difference it makes in your life this is the real nzt it's not a secret pill the secret formula is simple the proper diet a proper eating schedule and a little bit of exercise and it goes a far away hey if you found value from this video give it a like subscribe so you can be notified when i upload the next one thanks